Um, hopefully, you can see my little logo. Yeah, the brewer's bottle. Yeah. Yeah. The stream's gone live, so here we are. And good morning, everybody. Indeed, here we are live in Studio One. My name's Liam, and I'm your host for today with uh, Brewery Bottle. Merry Christmas, and uh, I have to say, Bamps, um, it's crazy that 2022 is coming to a close. How are you? I'm fine. Merry Christmas to you, too. Um, are, are you ready for Christmas, or do you need some time to uh, uh, ready yeah. before the... We're having a quiet Christmas this year. I, I, I think... Um, I think a lot of people are actually, aren't they, with the way things are at the moment, that uh, yeah. just need to take a bit of a backseat. Hopefully 2023 can be much more prosperous for us all, and uh, it can be, um, I don't know, maybe two bits of turkey instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, brought you on today because I wanted to talk to you about the results from last week, which seems to have crept up on us. Disappeared. <laughs> lot happened since last week hasn't it it's a bit crazy isn't it i'm, I'm just trying to um yes i have to i do have the right screen in front of me because i'm sharing my screen at the moment so um everyone can see what what images you've got sorted out for us today so in, in your words how do you how did you see the results that came through from last week um <laughs> I keep going back to Newcrest results. So the, the, there's a lot more in those than the Greatland results because these interim results now, there's only a few drills reported. Yeah. So you have to do the two together. Um, there was a few anomalies with the Greatland drill logs and I would, I've been in contact with Sean and they've They've been quietly corrected on the website. Okay. On the, on the RNS. Without anyone knowing. Yeah, so I, I didn't want to make a fuss. But it wasn't. The coordinates didn't match anything. Oh, okay. Not, one of the slides, I, I don't know whether you've got that one, it indicates where one of them was. I do have. It'll be, it's out of sequence at the moment, though. It yeah, is. Okay. Well, I'll run through when we get to it. I think it's the fourth, anyway, it's not the fourth one. No, I, I, I guess, and I, I think a um, uh, shout out to Tony because he was talking to me about it as well. Um, that it was it didn't make any sense in terms of, of 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 where it was. Do you think it's just a case of someone's typed in the wrong number somewhere, or yeah, it's, uh, some of the, the where it said no significant results were outside the all body. It was the drill. As they approaching the ore body, okay. They, for some unknown reason, they gave those results, which were no significant results, which would be quite expected. I guess, uh, yeah. Well, well, going back to the conversation that we had uh, in the week when you showed me the pictures, it would be very much that, wouldn't it? Because we we know where the edges of the old body are sorry i'm just i'm, I'm adjusting my screen uh for, for the live youtubers that are joining us on this uh show so whether you're if you're live hello if uh if you're watching this on playback uh hello to you as well um okay so let's get into our first image then and uh we'll we will talk about it and it's not moving over can you believe it uh so have you got a brew that's the main thing me, yeah, I've definitely got a brew. They yeah, and me. <laughs> got a couple. There we go. So here's our first image. Look at that. That is really quite something, isn't it? That's a... Yeah, that that's brilliant. And that shows all the drill positions on the, the pads on the surface. And then all the drill lines going down. And wh where would people find this image? Is this available in, like, the Jork version or has someone made this up for that us? on... Um... I think I picked it up off the presentation. Okay. But I think what it highlights more than anything at this stage, we're, we are drilling deep. And if you drill deep, you've got a lot of waste to get through. And that's costs. That's money. So all those black lines you can see around the edge, 
that's cost money to get to the old body right okay so you can see the deeper you go the, the more waste more costs and especially when you look at those out outer ones you know that's a that's a long way to go isn't it just to get down to that very last little bit down there in You're the deeps really 2000 meters yeah the, those really long ones wow but look how that old body's sort of growing deeper that's the main theme of these results the depth they're all they're all very deep and is that little bit down there in the i don't know if you can see my mouse on your screen can you see my mouse yeah so this bit here is that that that's branching that's the eastern brecky that's the eastern brecky brec here yeah but it's only it's only a very small proportion of it and that's because what it, they're saying it is probably two grams per ton right it, the purple areas are probably three to five grams per ton I think the red areas are up to three grams per ton. It's the purple areas, the highest. Yeah, and that's what they're going for first, isn't it, around this top end here? Yeah, and that bit on the right. That, the t first 300 metres, I think, we're going to be going for. Nice. Well, I like which the in, idea of that. Which includes a bit lower down there. Yeah, you make sure that bit. Right. That's quite. That's quite high. And and I mean we've gone over this before, but we, we're suspecting that this eastern brescia is kind of feeding the rest of the brescia pipe. Yeah, it does look like it. Because we'll, of this, we'll go into that on a on a further slide. Right. Okay. I, I move over. Oh, I need to zoom out. First. You can see that decline now as it's going down. That's the production decline from the top of the old body. And it's interesting that they've got two tunnels across the top. That's a ventilation, yeah. Right. Okay. And and it's four spirals. It's four spirals. There was five originally. Yeah. And they've moved those back to try and get through the soft stuff quicker. Yeah. So I reckon we're between the second and third. But they have to come back and do the. Those ventilation drives. Yes. That top red one on the left. If you move your mace. No, left. Oh, that one. That's the one that's done. Right, so they, they must at some stage have gone back and done the drive to meet it. Because you need ventilation down at, that, down at those depths. Yes. And they yeah. may have done that other one. Where are your mouse's now? There's another little one. That one there. They may have done that one. You have to keep the ventilation going. Right. It's important. Yeah. And I, I don't know if you'd know, would they be sucking the air out or pushing the air in, or would they be doing both? Well, on that government document that came out, that was circulating around yesterday, that the top one is an an air raise, so the the, the air is going up. I'm presuming so, that's that's where the the fan will be placed. Okay, on I suppose in some uh, I'm just thinking about this logically now that actually another one of the uh, service shafts, for for want of a better word, would be pushing the air in, and another one would be taking it out. A bit like yeah. a bit like a yeah. my computer, really. That's how that works, doesn't it? Yeah, so so one's uh, called a fresh air raise. Yep. And the other one's a return air raise. So that, that one at the top is a return out. Okay. No, that makes sense. Cool. But this is GGP's version, remember? It might and not change. the Newcrest one. It might change altogether with Newcrest. We haven't really got... That sort of detail with Newcrest. We we really need that proper a mining plan. Mining plan like we had with the yeah. version one. Oh, I've just changed over to the next slide. It doesn't matter. We'll carry on. <laughs> the, the, um, the the geo dot that came out yesterday for approval 
so it's um, I can't remember what it was now, but it, the um, the October they had to say what they've been doing. Yep. And they had to issue a mining plan, which will be coming out in early twenty twenty three which will be approved in October 2023. Yes. So this mining plan coming out, it's got to, it's got to be issued and approved for the end of October. Yes. So they can get the production going after October 23. Which, which kind of lines up nicely, doesn't it, really, in, in terms of timeline yeah. of, of, of all for 24? Hey, we, we should... feasibility studies whether it comes out at that point i don't know doesn't look like it will but it doesn't look as though it's needed the mining plan and the feasibility study together yeah okay i mean there's probably a few people scratching their heads over this document because i'm not sure it's circulated to the um everywhere yet no i don't think it is um but i've been keeping an eye on the i mean it's it's out there because i've been keeping an eye on the the website you can see bits since of since september see plans or anything yeah so i'll make sure that uh, the spaces that are looking for it will find it okay <laughs> uh yeah so um but it's because it's, it, i remember talking to sean about the document um in the last interview that i had with him um and ask him about the timelines and stuff and he was he basically said that yeah everything is exactly as it should be as, yeah, as did, we yeah, I remember him saying that, yeah. go through the lines so we're now looking at the uh 3900 rl plan view uh on the main screen there um that link right. zone is um i mean is that is that the interesting part or is it still the breccia that's still the, the, like, the eastern breccia that's still the the interesting part for well, you the, what they're doing at the moment is in filling in between these pods, like the northwest pod and the northern breccia and the eastern breccia and the, the link zone. That's where they've been attacking these last few results. Yeah. So they've been, they're trying to make all these zones link up. So it does look like that the eastern brecky is feeding the northern brecky. I've suspected that for a long, long time. Yeah. Um, it's quite interesting on that, on the top northern section, that there hasn't been much drilling in that area. It's a, it's a weak zone. Um, I need that to be filled in. <laughs> mm. <laughs> to, to confirm my calculations, that's what I'm... Just okay me. just sort of where all that white stuff is up here i mean you can see the fact that there's plenty of hits isn't there of of of, of gold yeah, but it seems to be lacking in qual quantity as yeah, opposed they to being drilling through that section that's that's the trouble um it seems to be not in the right place to drill from the surface to get to the deeper bits right okay it's not in line with anything right so but there's a lot of weak across the top and i'll explain that when we get to another okay i mean and there's um what one two three four five six seven maybe seven or eight drills outstanding on that doc on that image yeah the bottom um, the bottom right is the one that's interesting this one here yeah well, I'll explain that on the on the next that, one. That seems to be keep going down. They, they haven't picked up on this one because it's at three thousand nine hundred. If everybody doesn't understand it, that that's a a level from the Ordnance Survey of Australia. Okay, so at the top of the ore is four thousand eight hundred and fifty RL. So at this point, we are nine fifty from the top of the ore down. Now, I don't think the Eastern Breccia's starts really until this level. So all the Eastern Breccia's below this, but, but on the last results, they said 
it starts at 700 but it starts with a very steeply sloping edge so right. it starts to get wider from 700 down to 900 that makes i think that makes sense in as much as it, it's it's where it it petered out and lost its momentum of going to the surface as it was yeah it's all moving over towards the northern bracket so it's coming up and then moving over yeah that's what it looks like okay next slide yeah go on doesn't really go <laughs> that, that, dike, that dike position there that that's still not in the right place for 900 it should be over to the right a bit okay hang on let me come out of full screen i think being in full screen mode is not helping the situation there we go so we've done that one we've done that one now we want this one it's our next slide although it doesn't look like you have um yeah that, that dike is it's got quite a slope on it to the right right on the surface from which the surface, will, top of the orb. which we'll see in just a moment let me just and that's what made the the first mining plan obsolete when they were talking about um slc which is sub level caving so that you can see the slope of the dike on that left hand one yeah through here yeah, and the, the SLC would have been that right bit. It was like a wedge from there downwards. And it wouldn't have worked because that, it's not the full width. So that both sides would be coming in and forming a point at the bottom. So the sub-level caving wouldn't have worked. So they've had to change it to sub to uh, slosh. Yeah. So, so look on. at it the, right the, the graph and my calculations i'm reckoning that we should be around eleven thousand. okay but what it needs to get to eleven thousand average yeah so we need we need a vertical line straight down so they haven't finished drilling which is why we need fan drilling and you can see at the top there's a, a weak bit at the top, right from the top, it's way back. Up this end? It? On the graph itself. Okay. Can you see where it... Oh, this that, bit. That, yeah, that bit. That's due because of what I said before, where that northern end hasn't been drilled. So I'm hoping when they get to the top of the ore and they drive, put the drive across the middle, yep. they will be fan drilling all... And they will be going through all this weak stuff and then picking up whether it's got anything in it or not. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And I think it will go up a bit. Now, with the fan drilling, they can go in any direction, can't they? Yeah, but we need to be over the top of the all. And then you get no waste. You're consistently in, in the all. Which, which is just going to be better all round, isn't it? Because then you're... Yeah. You, you know, you yeah. only have to drill 100 metres for what it's worth and you've got 100 metres yeah. worth of results as opposed they're, to... They're, they're only small rigs. Yeah. Because they're in, in the tunnels, they're only small rigs. So they're limited on what they can drill. So you have to keep going down further as they're progressing downwards. But they do need... They do need to drill down further to uh, finalise the any bulk caving opportunities but that graph line will eventually go vertical i'm just hoping it goes up to my eleven thousand because that would indicate that the grade is 0.75 grams per ton i can't honestly see it being any higher than that and and that's throughout the whole the whole thing no this is down to uh, 900 so it's not all that way down. But on the left, look, you've got a dimension. 1300, is it? Yeah, 1300 down. Yeah, so I'm only looking at 
900 which is probably the bottom of that wedge in here yeah that back there somewhere below that you are I think the grades are going to go up to one one and a half so all those lines like the red line on the graph which is vertical yeah and then the purple line starting to move out that should go further to the right than what my average of 11,000 should be and that's huge it's going to go you're going to have a graph that's handy to that it's going to go the other way mm. eventually we're going to need a lot more drilling down at those levels and fan drilling is the obvious way to do it as they're going down yeah and they can drill upwards as well, can't they, with the fan drilling, yeah, which is why it's... Always, yeah. But I think the first ones are going to be on top of the oil and going downwards. Yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Solid. And they can work on that while the boys are continuing down and down and down and down and down. Yeah. So that's, that's quite... That graph is really good. It's showing where they need to drill. Mm. You can see the top 300 doesn't need to be drilled much more. They've nearly got to that average grade I'm talking about. So yeah. They're not going to get much better than that. That grade that they're showing there is about 0.65. I think the red one was at 0.55. So the purple one's at 0.65. So you, the, the further it comes over to the right, the higher the average grade. Nice of problem course. to have. <laughs> okay. Of course, they've gone down deeper than that graph. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we're so far behind on the data anyway, aren't we, that we're... Uh... Yeah. yeah, remember, this is all 12 months ago. Yeah. Is that the next slide? Oh, I see what I've done. Okay. So here's um, the what we were talking about at the start of the show. Um, yeah, the coordinates were, I don't know, the must have been a geek in the, in the computer. But that's where 98W5 would have been, according to them. And it's quite obvious it was 1,000 metres lower. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's all been sorted. They straightened her up now. Quite new amended. Okay. And oh, that's good. Yeah, and you can see from that where they're, where they're hitting. They're going between the northwest pod and the northern breccias. They're going between the northern breccias and the southeast link, southeast crescent. And they're also going between the eastern breccia and the northern corridor. I mean, this had 145 as that's some drive isn't it because not only are they drilling yeah, but they're, tw they're, they're twisting it as well at the same time yeah. yeah but look to the north there's nothing there it's just El Nardo yeah the, that's what I'm saying it, but that it still looks as though it's open to the northwest so you still think we, it's possible to uh... yeah, it might be And have I lost Bamps? Have I lost me? Is it my internet that's gone? I'm not entirely sure. Can anyone hear me? Oh no, come on. Where has it gone? I'm not sure if it's me that's fallen off the line here or if it's if it's Bamps. Um
Okay, so uh, it seems that I'm still live. So we'll see if if Bamps can uh, join us back up again in a moment. Um, so, uh, has anyone got any questions for Bamps? I mean, now's the time while while he's uh, just, he's just getting himself sorted back in. Um, I'm kind of watching the Telegram and the YouTube chat at the same time uh, this morning. So, have you have you any questions for Bamps? Is there anything Bamps can answer for you? Um, drop us a line. Um, it'd be great to hear from you. The um, the I don't know what I was going to say now. There's there's Bamps. I've gone off. Yes, he has. Allow me to reply to him. Can you log back in? Back in question mark Bosch. Okay, so let's let's um oh look at that. We'll we'll come back to that. That needs some explanation from Bams. So yeah, please do. I mean I'm obviously running um off the hoof here. Um so um some audience participation would be most welcome right now at this time to give us something to talk about. Um <clears throat> excuse me oh i see i'm I'm now seeing the uh the the youtube chat i've uh, too many I, don't, I need them another screen that's the problem um so uh good morning to everyone that is watching uh on youtube and telegram um i just wished i had something i'll say i am looking to uh get a uh show together with sean next month um for our quarterly catch up so we'll be looking for some potential questions uh for that um I don't know, just just you drop us a line can you log back in no oh no that's not good let me oh no not that one so yeah, sorry about this, everybody. Um, it's not really um, what I expected, and you can tell that I have completely lost all track of uh, what I'm doing and forgetting that I'm live and trying to multitask at this. Um, <laughs> uh, I've normally got at least something to talk about um but there's not really much going on this morning i mean I might, i've not really paid much attention to the boards i've not really paid much attention to anything gold's gone up um hurrah we're up at like 18:15, i think when i checked earlier this morning uh that's thanks to the japanese uh shocking the system with a oh yeah by the way we're just gonna adjust our bonds and yields and blah 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 a little bit further um which you know it's uh it's interesting that 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 wider macro um it is it's going to play out beautifully um for all of us um well i say all of us not my nan um because if gold's going up my nan is probably having to pay more for her uh oil gas and everything um so whilst i prosper the nans of the world sadly um I mean that's not cool, is it? Do you know what I mean? Like they 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 shouldn't have to be paying more for their for their things. I mean, I went shopping last week. Uh, I'm just waffling now. I went shopping last week, and it's like a hundred and fifty pound for a week shop. I mean, I, it's just ludicrous. I need to find um, Bumps's email and see if I can drop him that line. It's just ludicrous that you can spend that much money um, on food, um, and now that I'm um, uh, diabetic um, I'm having to buy like real food um, which is just it's just crazy because I'm of, of what they cost I mean any stupid things like um, broccoli and cauliflower are ridiculous anyway let's talk more about um, well I don't know what is there really to say? I think everything's been said, really. Um, I'm typing an email address at the same time. Yeah, I mean... The feasibility study's been delayed. We know that. We know that it's going to be coming out 
most likely the first half of the year. I mean, it's probably as as broad as a a time that we would want to to put on it. Really, um, we we've got the listing for the ASX coming. That's that's. Oh, I don't really want to say it. it's a given, but I'm pretty sure we're all confident it's going to happen. Um, I see that personally. I see that happening um, most likely um, before April. Um, and the um so so when we join up to that the the hope is and i'm just recapping now just trying to wait for phil to to come on so thank you for bearing with me is is oh here he comes i think oh, he's back. God, there's no happen there oh brutal <laughs> I, I was i was just talking about uh joining the asx and you need to turn your camera off bamps oh good <laughs> <laughs> You've just brought. Face. Th th there's, there's, there's. Pe Dipsard is uh, probably capturing his screen as we speak. To uh... <laughs> <I'm still on>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you must know my technical expertise is very poor. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, so EastEnder, if you've just joined us, um, um, we're probably about half an hour in now. Um, I'm not sure what time you've got on your screen, but I'm showing 31.30, if that's any help to you. Um, we were just talking about, uh, I was just talking about joining the ASX, and that we it should happen, I reckon, before April. And that the hope there is that we join, and there are no more shares issued, and just that everybody in Australia that wants to buy Grant and Gold shares will, as Sean says... <laughs> go to the main market which is london and buy on the main market um so uh dip said oh bless him dip says doesn't need to do a screen capture because he's already met you and um that you're a nice chap so there we go thanks uh, dip um thanks yes. dip. yeah let me just uh because now i've like completely changed all my screens around as i was trying to find stuff to talk about and i've lost the recording studio that's going to be over here somewhere. There's the recording studio. We're still looking at that screen there. So um, if, if you have just joined us and you can't see me or Bamps, don't worry about it. We're not doing video this morning. I broke my camera. Uh, we're not doing video this morning. It's just this, this, it's more like a podcast with visuals. And this is the easiest way to do it. Um, so let's move over to our next slide because that is mighty, mighty interesting. Um, Apollo and Atlas, uh, the Artemis Resources um, reports, what are you seeing there, Bamps? Well, the, you can see two dikes, two fault lines, and the, the one it, on the right is Art, um, is Artemis's, um, is it AP04 or something? The pad on 04. Okay. I might be wrong, but I think it is. I'll fire up and, Google but, Earth. But that's the one where same line as we've been drilling on Haveron North and we haven't been finding anything and it looks as though they haven't found much either okay so I think that that is probably going to be a no-no um, when you go on to the left I was hoping for a bit more from it but there's some good results from that I mean, it's early days yet, but it, it looks as though that slope is sloping towards Scallywag. But when you go on to the next slide... Uh, hang on, because I was just faffing with Google Earth so people could orientate themselves. This one here? Yeah, that... That is going the opposite direction, so I was, I was scratching my head which way this dike is going. But I, I think what it's doing, it's sort of cutting across the corner of their property, going down towards Scallywag and Havron North. Okay, let me just uh, window Google Earth share. So, this is Apollo, right? 
yeah, you can roughly, I reckon you can see the line of that dike by where they, they've they drawn that line through. This one. Oh, God, hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the Bamsey's fan club. <laughs> <laughs> Going all wrong this morning. It is. It's. Uh, this is the beauty of live broadcasting. Tackle off to... <laughs> so, uh, so we're that saying. There, I think that's the dike, and it's sloping down to the left into the corner. Okay. So it's sloping down into Scallywag, which is on the left. Which is all here. That's all Scallywag. Hang on, we're, no, that, that's. Yeah, on the left, not down the bottom. Let me take out. Let me take out some of my nonsense. So yes, this pink line. This is Javier on, and this over here is Scallywag. Yeah, that's Scallywag. Yeah. Now I've reorientated myself. Yeah. So that's why I'm getting excited about with it. I asked Sean about this, and he said they're very interested in what what Artemis are doing. Yeah. You said they're looking at it, so that I'm hoping we might do a drill next year. Which is that top, top bit, that top left bit there. Which is really interesting. Excuse me, as my dog has a dream. Um, I don't know if you can hear him or not. The is the fact that there's no the magnetic anomaly really isn't very much at all, is it? It's but what they seem to be doing is they they seem to be saying that there's. Um, the magnetics are very low to the top right of that, that line inside Artemis license. Mm. And they drilled number 11 towards it. Um, Hang on. And 11 was their best drill. So it's away from Scallywag. But it is looking east. Yeah. So, so so we're standing at Scallywag looking... Yeah, looking east, yeah. Looking east. But it, the mineralisation seems to be around that dike. Mm. So it's coming up from somewhere. So hopefully it's coming up from Scallywag. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm hoping. But well, probably, I mean, that would be nice for all of us, wouldn't it? It would. Okay. Yeah, so uh, and, and the grades, I mean... That's for, for the uninitiated. That's not necessarily quite discovery hole material, is it? I mean, what, what no. sort of grades are we looking for when we talk about a discovery hole? Is is there is there a number that people put on 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 what a discovery hole is? Um, it depends. If you're looking at a, a big ore body, then one to two grams per ton is good because there's a lot of it. Yeah, and it, would that need to be over some sort if, of over 50 metres or something, or does that yeah, depend on... if you're looking at a, 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 a seal or a, a dike, it, you, you would look at around 5 to 10 grams per tonne if it was in sort of like a 4 or 5 metre band. Okay. So if you've got a thin layer, it needs to be high grade, and that isn't really high enough. It's close, but it's not. So it's not what we would call. You dig a hole and get it out. No. Okay. Well. Oh, here we go. What do we have here? Well, you can, there is. I've written on Scallywag. Now that that line that goes up off to the northwest, that that goes off up to Rio's boundary. This one here? I think there's about three kilometres from Havron up to that Rio boundary. Which we should be able to pick up. <laughs> and that goes on, then goes on off to Budgie Down. Right. <clears throat> Excuse I've me. I've never seen any, re any results from Budgie Down, although we know they've drilled it. Not that one, I want that one. And that, so we're saying it goes off up into this area here yeah 
I must have a um no nope. no nope. that corner has always been missing detail if ever there's been a survey out this it corner here miss it yeah what's it hiding yeah well in fact look you can see the is that the dike or is that the fort that's, that's the dike the isn't line. it that's the fault line that black line is the fault line okay and what about the beige line that is that... Um, a mineralized rock i think they called it <laughs> but it could be a... i think it's felspar pink felspar okay from what um artemis one of the first, last year's results they picked up pink felspar see that last one you just did that one see they block out that bit <laughs> yeah and what's it hiding <laughs> <laughs> what is it hiding artemis did a, a 3d image and it missed that bit <laughs> there's like a triangle missing all the time and just um oh, it's rudo that's no good yeah and again it's still it's, it's a little bit short isn't it but yeah you can you can see how that matches up now i don't know whether when they've drilled zipper whether they've drilled close enough to the boundary to find anything because they didn't go towards the boundary they went east is that the zipper drill there yeah these two yeah they went east they didn't come west or northwest so maybe now they've seen artemis results they might go a bit closer to the boundary it would be very telling if they go again wouldn't it yeah they keep drilling up there so there must be there must be something there that they're finding and not not letting on and and you're showing now on this image there's this another four or eight areas yeah, can, that are, are ready for you can see the drill lines on that one where they've been drilling yeah they, now they seem to be going in towards away from Havron. they seem to think that's where the mineralization is because there was some suggestion it was in a demagnetized area wasn't there i mean it's right there yes. actually right in front yeah. of me yeah there that bit which is which kind of comes back towards the eastern bretchard isn't it because that's demagnetized yeah you can see where they they put a new pads in on the top top left no the bit on top left of artemis there all those squares it's all new pads yeah i was just going to at the same time as as, as doing this is go and have a look at a new the latest satellite image and see if we can't see it in real time and just just to orientate ourselves so i'm just heading to landviewer dot or landviewer on the eos.com website and we'll have that in just a moment so it looks like they've got to took a track through the sand dune to get those top four it's going to be um how how deep's the cover there bams it's about when you go back onto one of those sections it, it comes it's about 375 to 425 so to this area here yeah but as you go further towards the dike in Havron north it's about 480 okay let me just share Chrome tab. That one, share. Uh, I can't see what you can see now, but hopefully you can see um, some satellite imagery. Yeah. So this is the area we're looking at. And as you can see, they're having to really tuck that in, aren't they? They really don't have much room down there in that bottom corner. No. And then oh, I suppose it might be a little bit further north. 
Just matching it up. They've got to get across those sand dunes, which is why they've always had trouble. Where is it? It's. I'm just trying to to to, <laughs> to match it up. So they're actually going to be trying to drill inside here. I mean, that looks yeah. like that could be a cleared pad. What? What that red dot is? Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. very, it's very square. It's probably a bit too square when you look at the others down the bottom and 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 stuff. Yeah, could be. Might be two together, is it? I don't know. I don't. This is unfortunately this is that's as close as I can get, which is a little bit mean. But yeah, the 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 latest satellite imagery, just for reference, which came out um, on the twenty first. So this is today's. So as you can tell. It's very cloudy, possibly uh, even a bit wet. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, it's, it's Mother Nature's not playing the game this morning. So anyway, uh, let's get back on with the stop sharing. Back to yeah, you can't blame Sandeep for that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, back to this one, and the next slide. What do we mean by magnetics delineating flexures in liniment? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I presume they found the, the line. Right. The, they, they found flexures. I, I presume they mean in the the fault i don't know okay but they're delineating the areas that that could be uh, mineralized that's what it looks like by the magnetics but it certainly looks like it goes into zipper and into scallyway It's the closest we've got to another find, anyway. Yeah, and and, and that's all we really like, in my mind. That's all we need is, is somewhere in the postcode. Is is someone just to show that there are more ore bodies around? Yeah, because there's none popping up at the moment. No, and I guess the slowness of Greatland's drilling campaign um, around the Scallywag Telemann. Yeah doesn't necessarily help that does it but then at the same time you would be kind of foolhardy i suppose to just sort of throw in 10 rigs and just drill everything and and hit yeah, and you hope can't, you can't do that no it's too, it's too big no and and sean's often said that they're not going to stop drilling something until they can actually answer why they should stop drilling it which is which is yeah. fair enough it's a bit of a a slow burner and annoying for for shareholders because obviously we just want results but um, if I, did, you're gonna... I did ask him, could, is it possibility of having some some information about these these results where you, where they keep giving no significant results? Whether they they could give us something to focus on? Why yeah. you know why there's nothing there? But yeah, it, it, uh, wasn't, it wasn't forthcoming. We want the answers too, don't we? Really, you know, we want to know what have they found? Have they found anything? You know, even if it's some some lead and some arsenic, at least that kind of shows us what's going on down there. Yeah, some yeah, some. That's what we need is the weak anomalies that that, that can point you in in the direction of vectoring. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wrong one. Well, can't dwell on that. that right. This, this is a. Well, it's not that old, but this came from last March. This is. Greatlands um, shells. You can see the square shells. Yeah. So this was in their MRE. So they've got the, they detailed the shells in the eastern Breccia. And you just about see them in the southeast crescent. But there's big gaps, these white areas where the drills are. That's, that's the gap zone and the link zone. <clears throat> that's what they're trying to fill in now. But those red and greens are constant. They're, they're constant grades. So 
it, it's looking about two grams per ton. And and actually, it it just looking at that, and 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 we'd be silly to draw too much of a conclusion. But but you could quite easily suggest that that this here matches up with this here, and also could it match up with this here, given the fact that we can see there is mineralization. Well, yeah. That yeah definitely and even more up in this top corner and down below in the bottom right corner well i see it down there look hiding behind the yeah so... that's crazy yeah it's, it's still a lot of drilling to do yeah but i, I tried to explain before that you don't it, where the grades are constant you don't need to do much drilling to gain a variable um, volume. No. But if you look on the left, the, the amount of different types mm. of drilling and the, in that crescent, the shells are all different grades. There's a lot of different minerals in there. It takes a lot more drilling to get to get any sort of variable amount yeah because every time they pull a core out it's so vastly different from the one that they poured out yeah, before it the eastern wreck is constant they can they don't have to drill so many to be able to know what's there yeah it with, with it in terms of like their confidence of yeah no because if, if they're all the same they're all the same aren't they yeah okay Actually, I've just seen this down that's, here. That's, that's not a bird. That's not a night parrot. <laughs> actually, yeah, I can see that now. Oh, my gosh. That is actually a bird. That is crazy. Yeah, I was just, just, just seeing how big this eastern breccia is, especially when you sort of see how the, there's the crescent. And that's that's, um, that's going to make your footprint a damn sight bigger, isn't it? Yeah. But see, that little, that little crosshair is in the middle. That's... That I think it's going to be the drilling for the fan drilling. Oh, this bit here? Yes. Because then That's they can just of... attack it from all sides. That's on top of the oar. Yeah. That That's makes good. sense. It's not a night parrot. It's, not, it's a shame because that should be the night parrot. That, that, should yeah. be, that should be the new mascot for... Uh... In fact, I think we will make that the new mascot. For... I'm going to have to sort that out. The new mascot for GGP Help. Um, <laughs> uh, did I just? No, I didn't. There you go. Well, I just wanted to show you what this is. Newcrest shells. Now these these are from the MRE of twenty twenty. And this is so vastly different, isn't it? Yeah, but the the MRE is only in the, those black boundaries. The Croydon, those are Croydon boundaries. Yes. Right, the, all those blues and greens in the middle, they've all been expanded. They've all been drilled out and changed. And at this level, it's 4200, so that's 650. Mm. So we're in the northern corridor here, and we know it's the grades are around one one and a half grams per ton so all those blues are going to change and i think the mre that's coming out all this that's in shown here will be in the new mre but upgraded probably to reds and oranges do you think because of the um higher grade purple and reds they've kind of ignored the blues and greens and, um, and no or... that's just, i just think that was lack of drilling at the time okay so they know there's something there from survey work, but they yeah. haven't drilled it to confirm it. Do you so think when they actually they can they can pinpoint each cube mm. for drilling, and uh, they will upgrade it. And that's what's been happening within. That's what you call infill drilling. When, when it comes, sorry. Yeah, they're targeting the cubes. Hmm. When it comes to this um, feasibility study, 
and, and and undoubtedly a new MRE with it. Is is and this is just me playing the layman luddite here. We we only we know for a fact we are only with with probably ninety eight ninety nine percent certainty gonna get three million ounce three million ounces per annum because of the restrictions on the tunnel. Is is there anything stopping them from them but them then turning around and saying, but we have I don't know just a nominal figure say 12 15 million ounces of gold can, can they increase that figure even though they've only got a tunnel for three million ounces i think the two are, are not linked um we've got six and a half million equivalent yeah um not 9.4 <laughs> i was just gonna say Arch that Arch <laughs> Thank you for those extra ounces, Artemis. Yeah, I thought that was brilliant. So the, the 6.5 doesn't really relate to the 3 million. The 3 million is just the amount that they can get out, 3 million tonnes of ore that they can get out in a year through that decline. It's the decline that restricts the 3 million. So whether they've got some other means of getting more or out like a hoist or anything like that that remains to be seen i don't think we will see that at this point I no so. no I, I don't i don't i don't think for a second we will either um but obviously they can just keep increasing those ounces can't they and it almost prove that they need to add something else yeah but they've been doing stuff with the decline like to um more passing bays in and things mm. like that to to get more or out or make it more feasible because it's still a big ass to get three million ton out of that decline especially if they go down to new eco trucks of 40 ton 40 ton trucks that's, well, that's like truck movements it's like what we see on um the m1 isn't it 40 ton um they're about 40 ton i'm pretty yeah. sure no, the forty-ton trucks we see carrying ore or on the motorways, they can only carry about twenty-six ton. Okay, they're so still bloody like, big. <laughs> yeah, still big, but um, they're not as big as the forty-ton Volvos. They can yeah. carry forty ton of ore. That makes sense. Okay, but I think they've gone to a smaller truck so that they can get get up a steeper decline, which is why they've made it shorter they've steepened it slightly yet it this one is it four five hundred level which is 350 so that's four that's, two that's 650 and that's 350 okay so this is higher up so i think this is what's going to be i think they're going to be going for the top 350 in this three million ton so you can see there's a lot to go for to add to the MRE shells, which are in the black boundaries down the bottom. And there's a little bit in the northwest pod. There's a lot there that can be. Yeah. Well, they've all been infilled now. We know yeah. there's a big, there's a big blob of high grade in the middle. Yeah. And the northwest pod is broadening out. And the boundaries have expanded. So. It's a good point that the, the three million ton, instead of going down, getting it from down deep at 900 metres, will be all coming out of the top 300. It's going to be a lot cheaper to get out. Mm. So how that affects a bulk caving at this point, I don't know. That's what likely to come out in the mining plan. Yeah, could they? And I'm just, I'm just spitballing now. Could they, could they run a plan that says, right, we're going to do three million uh, tons per annum using the trucks and spiral, and then, then obviously say, right, we're going to put a hoist in, but the hoist completely skips this top level, and it almost becomes a completely separate function, yeah, they, and they yeah, sort they of just drive down to six hundred meters well, with the shaft. That's what I'm expecting is a phase one and phase two, probably phase three. Okay. But when you get down to 900 metres, I can't see them trucking that out. Oh, it's going to take forever, isn't it? Yeah. I think they put a conveyor 
in down the bottom with a with a crusher. Yes. Hey, this is one thing you've always said is is get that crusher close to that ore body and get that ore crushed up. Yeah. yeah. But it needs to be linked to the eastern brachia bolt cave so that the two can come into the same crusher. Yeah. Otherwise you're wasting money on yeah, you'll get a conveyor will take out twenty million tons a year. So that's that's showing deeper down in, or is it the higher one? This is Next. four eight. Yeah, that's that's near the top. Oh, that's near the top. Okay. So you can see all the high grade stuff right at the top. Yeah. So on the left, you got the western front loads of purples that's what we want and then on the eastern front on the right there's another big blob of purples and so all this here is going to have been filled in now as well isn't it so even this is is just going to add more ounces to our yeah yeah and then you've got the northern corridor on the top end mm. but the western front seems to be the best one but it's all expanded. I've, I've done a lot on the, one of the one of the um, pages on the on the GGP chat. Yeah. And uh, I've ex showed where they've been expanding and where they've been drilling. So it's definitely they've expanded it into the centre of that of that western front. But that's what we need in the MRE is one of these shell pictures to show us what they're doing again yeah and we'll probably get that it, it would be very helpful to see wouldn't it yeah that that's where they've been targeting which is, it looks as though it's all going to join up so there's four areas there the one right the little one at the top This one here. Yeah. Then you got the where I was saying down the bottom right. It's going to get wider. Oh. But I think that's at the southeast end. So it's broadening out at the bottom, which is what I've always expected. I remember that first conversation where you said it was more like a light bulb. Yeah. But now it's more like a light bulb a squashed to the right. <laughs> <laughs> One of those fancy ones that you have to get online. Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Um, so here we have... I uh, couldn't tell you where we're at height wise, but are these our latest results? Yeah. So I'm looking more at the bottom right. Down here. Yeah. They, that dike has moved about 100 metres to the right now at this point. And as you go further down, lower, it will move even further to the right. So we've got 159 and 156 drills. If you're looking at those two. So if we can pop to the next one. And there's 159. And there's 156. Oh, 156 is. Yeah, look at 156. I don't think many people have seen what I've seen on that. You look to the right in the depth. Well, from 2,079 metres. So you've got a figure there. Of too small on my laptop. What does it say? It's 30 metres at 1.5 grams per tonne and 0 0.18. No, 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 I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at oh. the depth. 
Oh, that's 3,500 where my mouse is right now. Yeah, so you're looking at 1,350 on that one. Yeah. Is that 500 or 300? Uh, 3,500. Okay, so so you're looking at about 100 metres below that. But you've got a round bottom. So that, that indicates to me that there's been a survey that's been picked up by a dang tall survey. Right, yep. It's not picking up what's going below it. But the, the 156 is below that. So at that particular section, we are a, about 1450 deep of all. So go to the next one. No. No, didn't work. Oh, no, I've run out of slides. What one are we expecting to see? The little one. Hang on. I might have missed it in my haste to transfer from our messaging conversation. Three, it should be. Okay. Una memento puff of ore. Could it be this one? Come on, up, up your pop. That's a great shot of the decline, that one. That, it's lovely, isn't it? Mm. I'm going to stop sharing this screen and share the other one instead. Uh, share. No, that one. There you go. Is it this one? No, I'm looking at <laughs> section three. That's what I was hoping to get. Okay. Uh, oh, I know what you mean now. Silly boy. Yes, I just called my... Little, little blob. I just called myself a silly boy on... Is that section three? Has he got had, had 153 in it? Um, this one, I've got one, that, but it doesn't say that it's section three, that's all. It's a little one. It doesn't go right to the top. That's, yeah, so it is this one I've just found. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So I'll load that up. Oh, the joys of being live on air. There you go. Yeah, that's it. That's, there's a lot going out on this one. Well, and, and, and the lack of MRE is, is, is my first point. That yeah, all blow, needs to be counted. Blow it, blow it right up to the bottom right. So what does that figure say on the right? 3,300 RL. Yeah, and we're about 100 metres below that. So what, what depth do we work out then? Oh, 1,650 yeah. of ore. <laughs> <laughs> you don't miss a trick, do you? No, I'll pick that up. I like this slide, it shows a lot. This this section here is is totally outside the ore body. It, it's left the ore body, and now it's showing the slope. It's showing the mineralisation following the dike down, mm. or the dike is following the mineralisation down because the mineralisation was there before the dike. So this is where it's coming from. So. I think everything's being fed from this this area. And look, it's all blue, which is cemented brachia. Now, cemented brachia is it's about one gram per ton. Yeah. And it's also got a specific gravity of 2.85, apparently, whereas the yellow's got 2.6. And what does that mean in, in, in layman's terms? Um... If you've got a cube of ore, mm -hmm. so you times that by 2.6 or 2.85. Right, okay. It gives you the tonnage. Oh, uh, okay. But look at the top. It's all it's starting to turn purple. Mm. You know, the sulfides have got to come from somewhere. And I don't think they found the link. 
of where they're coming from. So I think there's more purple going to show up. Is, is, that, over time. is that why they keep doing things like had 156? Because they're just trying to understand. Just trying to understand what's happening. Down what's there, happening yeah. and how it's happened and why it's happened and stuff. Yeah, that, that 3,300, I think that's the reason the excitement came about yesterday about this big drill rig coming in. Did you pick up on that one? Did you? I haven't done a slide of that, have I? Uh, no, you... Stuart Hines picked it up on his Twitter. Let me just... 5,000 something, 5,000. Yes, the uh, UDR 5,000. That's it. That is the largest exploration rig. The world's largest exploration rig. That's coming after Christmas. That can get down maximum of 3,500 metres. So there's something serious going on with the drilling after Christmas. I want to, sorry, I'm just grabbing another slide for everybody to uh, uh, gore pad. So let's stop with a share with a window. It's got a, that one. Bosh. the actual drill string is, is designed to be lightweight. Okay. So it's easier for the drilling crews to pull the cores up. And it's easier for them to, to do everything because everything is lightweight, mm -hmm. so it, it means that they can get fourteen percent lower than a normal drilling string. It's a NRQ V wall. Isn't the NRQ something to do with the drill head? No, it's a, it's the the width. Oh, okay. So it's a sixty nine point nine external diameter. Inches or. Centimeters, uh, cent uh, millimeters. You have to be a big rig to be centimeters. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was just looking at a ruler. So six centimeters. No millimeters. <laughs> oh, so literally uh, less than a centimeter. No, sixty-nine millimeters is nearly three inches. Oh my word. They'll do maths. See, this is the problem. We should never let Bottle do maths. <laughs> the three inches is six centimetres. Pardon? What? I'm just measuring it up. Oh, it's more 75, like eight. 75 millimetres is three inches. Yeah, I, I agree with that. If, 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 if only we had the video on, people could see me playing with the ruler right now. Picky. 69.9 <laughs> millimetres, right? And it gives a, gives a core of about... 55 mil. So but really it, small. So we're, this 2,000 metres is going to be a piece of cake for this one. Yeah. So all those other rigs that we've got, I don't think they'll be drilling down those big long lines that we've seen. It's going to be this one. Yeah. It's, going, it's cheaper. But they still need to do it to find out where this bolt cave is going to be and what's happening. Where is the sulfides coming in? Is the decline going to be in the right place? You know, this sort of thing they need to think about planning. That makes sense. So, but I think that, that 3,300 is important because I think it links with that big rig. That's up at Swan, that one. Sorry, I've skipped. I've, I'm, I'm, I was trying to compare the two. The two they're out of. Um, they're out of sequence now. I was trying to compare the two um, section plans, but I might do that on the York version at some point. So we're still waiting for some of these results, aren't we? Yeah, I don't know whether they've drilled them all. I don't think so. I think they've only drilled Pearl, which is. Um, I don't know what number that is. Eight. 
do I have that marked up on my Google Earth? It's possible as Black Hills. No, I've not got. I've only, I've only seen the satellite images from Pearl. I haven't seen them move. They're supposed to be doing eight drills there. I've only, I've only witnessed two. I don't know if anybody else has witnessed any more. Yeah, no, I've got Swan pegged up from last year, but I haven't got any pins in from this year. Not really paid much attention to it this year. But they, they suddenly moved to, to Rudel. Mm, I think that was more to do with timing than anything else. Yeah, they didn't seem to spend very long at Rudel either, so whether they finished, I don't know. Maybe they just needed, um, they just wanted a single core out of it. Good then. What? What's the story? That's normally their way, isn't it? Is, is, is tell me the story and then yeah, we'll make a plan from there. Yeah, they put one drill down and then they do survey. Drop the survey tools down. Yeah. And then find out any more information from there before they stick another one down, which is good practice in a way. I think so. It's just a shame it takes so long. I think that's that's the frustrating part, isn't it, from a from an investor point of view, is is the time it takes. Um, it just means the results are going to be, you know, one here, one there. Because we've only drilled one at uh, Black Hills. Whether they've gone on to Subtle Reef again, I don't. I didn't witness that. Do you do you think they literally just went straight towards the target? Looks like it, doesn't it? It's supposed to be deep. Mm. That coincidence is supposed to be deep. So whether they have, I don't know. They didn't seem to be there long enough. No, maybe they just did, did the hole deep enough to get the tool down to get a, as you say, you know, more get understanding and from more information from it. Yeah, to tell them make a plan for next yeah. year. Callum told me so he didn't think the top of it would be that deep. But the the indications are from every, it, that it's deep. Mm. So that's brutal. But that's, that's the size of that is massive. It, yeah. Very good have run. It's it's over twice the size that target that bullseye. So if it does come up, trumps it will be brilliant. Yeah, I noticed that we did uh, some work on Tamar. I've not even got them penned in, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. But I know they did sort of Tamar, and they've been up here. And you mentioned Saddled Reefs, which is in here, isn't it? No, not that one. Yeah, that's Saddled Reef, isn't it? Mm, it's around there. I was just trying to see if I had a... Um, I haven't got any images that are there that will dictate where it is. But yeah, it's that area. Yeah, but it, they, they haven't, I don't think they've drilled saddlery. Where that one pin that you've got there, that, that is saddlery. Mm. But they've gone further north into A27. Which it's I think they all back to north. Shame they ran out of names, really, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we've 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 run out of names, so we just call them A twenty seven and A thirty four. Okay, cool. So I think um, we are. What 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 do you make here? Because this is your last slide now. What was your thoughts on this one? Which one? Oh, I see what I've done. Hang on. Uh, da, 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 the singing, there you go, that one. Hopefully you can see that now. Yeah, it, we just seem to be getting closer to Winner all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that Northwest trend, isn't it? Winner is on that Northwest trend. Yeah. We probably went, well, we know we went for a lot more. We, we lost that one that wishbone got hold of but it, that was only a tiny tiny one mm. that was by oak river that oak river is a big license yeah and there seems to be a, a good gold silver target on that one which uh, wishbone kindly 
that was in on. Um, Citadel Hill, I don't know when we're going to hear about that one, whether we won the ballot or not. That's the one we're in with Fortescue. Right, okay. So hopefully a deal might be done there, I don't know. Well, especially considering Fortescue are a gold, uh, sorry, uh, an iron ore company. Yeah, I don't know. But they've got loads. There's loads of those licenses, Fortescue. Mm. I think that big one below Oak River, I think that's Fortescue's. Uh, one one, it's, um, that's one that's attached to Black Hills. Okay. So that mineralisation seems to continue from Black Hills up into one one. And that's where I picked up all these weak anomalies. Oh, sort of like, I think it was eight metres at, at point five or something like that. But they seem to be all over that top left corner of Black Hills. Sorry, just excuse me a moment, everybody. I'm just trying to bring up my Google Earth again for you so that you can um, see what I can see. Because I've got... There it is. So when we look at this and I come down... Here, there should be oh, there's a single pin. That's not much fun. Oh, I just found a load of more bloody thingies. <laughs> uh, I know what I'm looking for. Yeah, that top left corner, there's loads of historical drills in that top left corner of Black Hills. And they're all mineralised, but not very strongly, but they're all sort of like eight metre bands of 0.5 or there's some higher. There's one historical drill to the right of Saddle Reef, that's something like 63 metres at 0.17. Wow. So, the, so there's something going on all, all around. So they must have some idea what they're doing, but Saddle Reef seems to be the one It's more likely to be an old body than anywhere. But that top left corner goes through into, into Antipas land mm. and then back up, back up into Wanman. So we're likely to get further areas of that week of mineralisation but in bands sort of like eight metres or so here we go I found <laughs> I knew I'd put it somewhere safe so so this is some work that we did uh, Phil some time ago yeah. and yeah. We've, we, we've I've managed to get all of the historical drills pinned yeah you can see that a lot of wildcat drilling mmm and those at the top left corner, they, they seem to be really good around there. In fact, you can see the original. Yeah, you can see an anomaly there of some description. As you go further to the top right, it, it seems to peter out right. of that line. If you go back down to Saddle Reef, which bit low, right, there's a red circle Saddle Reef is... Is it that one? Yeah, that one. Now, the mineralisation seems to be to the right in those other... in that blue area. I think that's where the new... new the new drills are. OK. To the outside the, the red line. That's where the mineralisation is. And if you go further right, over that yellow green stuff there's some there's some yeah all around there those, those historical drills that's where that 63 meters 
of 0.170 is. Okay. So they seem to be either side of that lump that of rock in green area yeah. which which kind of when you take off the um is that the magnetics yeah when you i'm just gonna untick everything the now -magnetics. there you go is is you can see it sticking out can't you you can see it sticking through the cover yeah there's, there's already any cover there and that's straight rock that's that's kind of what that is right yeah that's where we found all the the nuggets yeah the great the excitement that caused because they were lying and that, some of that is a, it's a reef I, I believe it's the top of the reef that's been eroded and the gold drops onto the floor yeah left behind by the erosion oh long may it continue <laughs> yeah, let's hope find some more. As big as that silver nugget that uh, Alien Metals found. Did you see that one? No, no, what was that? They got a silver nugget that they found. Um, from Silver um, Elizabeth Mine, is it? Okay. And got it lifted up on a small winch. It's that big. Wow. I don't think we're going to get a gold one like that. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Babs, I think that uh, pretty much brings our uh, Christmassy uh, conversation to a close. Yeah, yeah. I'd um, just like to say that I've put a. I've been. Two years ago, I did a pantomime on post. <laughs> and I put every. tried to put everybody's name in it as I could. Uh huh. I'll repost that for Christmas. Oh, but uh, whoever's not on it, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there are so I, many people now, though, aren't there? And if I've taken the mick out of anybody, I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're not. Oh, I had to oh yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw that in there. Anyway, uh, Bams, thank you so much for joining me today. I've really enjoyed talking to you once again. Uh, if you want to contact the show, you can reach out to us on Twitter uh, at GGP Help. Um, send us a tweet um, if you've got any questions for Bamps you can also ask them there or on Telegram if you're part of Telegram or even over on GGP Help no on ggpchat.co.uk uh, post, a, post a question there for Bamps uh, and I'm sure he will uh, find it at some point and, and respond to you although please don't post any um, hate mail for being called out in Panto Land because that just would not be fair fair <laughs> uh, 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 no, Bams, a, a very Merry Christmas to you and everybody else at your end of the uh, country. Thank you very much for joining me today. Okay, Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas. Uh, my name's Liam. You've been watching GGP Helps Brew with Bottle. And until next year, unless we have some stellar news in the coming days, um, I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you and good day.